Are you considering moving to Cheyenne, Wyoming and just need a few pointers on the who, what, where, when, and why? We're going to show you right now. Hi, I'm Stan Hartsign with Double H Home Loans. Welcome to another episode of Why Not, where we're showing you why people are choosing to live in Cheyenne, Wyoming. First off, Cheyenne, Wyoming is located along Interstate 25, just north of the state line that it shares with Colorado. This puts it only about 90 minutes away from world-class skiing, hiking, biking, and other great attractions. One of the main reasons people choose to live here is the traffic. I mean, lack thereof, we don't have it. The average commute time for residents of Cheyenne to get to work is about 14 minutes. Another great benefit to living in Cheyenne is that both the unemployment rate and the cost of living have remained about 1% below the national average. This has actually resulted in a little bit of a population boom of about 8% since 2020. One of the things that you'll quickly notice in Cheyenne is we're a very military friendly town. You're gonna to see our servicemen and women all over town. That is mostly because Warren Air Force Base is located just at the edge of town. Warren Air Force Base is an active military installation within the Air Force. It houses approximately 4,000 servicemen and women with an additional 5,000 of their family members living off base in our communities. As a matter of fact, Cheyenne Regional Airport was used by the military to land a variety of jets and bombers. For this reason, the airport can actually handle any size aircraft and you can use that to your advantage if you live in Cheyenne by flying directly from Cheyenne to other locations. For example, if you're looking to get down to Denver in about, I don't know, half an hour, you can actually fly on United Airlines for about 90 bucks round trip. What a lot of people don't even realize is that the Cheyenne Regional Airport does not look like Kitty Hawk. It's not a landing strip out in some farmer's ranch. It's an actually full service airport that you can take advantage of. Next, let's talk a little bit about the cost of housing. Housing costs are gonna vary depending on which part of Cheyenne you live in, but overall, housing in the city is considered very affordable. To give you an idea, the median average home price in Cheyenne right now, about $311,000. Now don't get me wrong, you could easily spend upwards of a million dollars if you want to live just outside of town on one of the beautiful ranches that surrounds the city. A good rule of thumb in Cheyenne is that as you go north or west, the housing does get a little bit more expensive than if you were to live in the south or the east. That being said, there's neighborhoods in the southwest part of the city that have had the highest appreciation rates since the year 2000. But beyond the affordability and the convenience of being on two different interstate highways, one of the reasons that people like living in this location is because of the small town feeling. You can really get to know your neighbors and other people in your community. People here are gonna be really friendly. It's almost guaranteed that you're gonna to go to the grocery store, buy a couple things and leave with a couple new friends. Or you're gonna show up at a restaurant and two people sitting there are gonna know you by name and say hi and give you a wave. That is exactly the type of community that Cheyenne is and probably the thing that people love the most about living here. But don't let our small town feeling make you think that life here is boring because we are so much more than that. We are actually really well known for our outdoor activities. Our close proximity to world famous places like the Vita Vu Rec Center, Kurt Gowdy State Park, and Medicine Bow National Park give you access to everything that you might want to do outdoors. And if you're into skiing, there's plenty nearby. Snowy Range Ski Resort is continually recognized by national ski publications for the consistently great snow, genuine western hospitality, scenic beauty, and overall value. But one more thing that you will absolutely love if you haven't experienced it yet is the rodeo. People that live here, they know. And if you don't, you will soon know. Cheyenne is famous for its rodeo. By far, the biggest attraction in Cheyenne is Frontier Days. It's an annual rodeo that attracts literally thousands of rodeo people, musicians, food trucks, beer vendors, uh, face painters, you name it. The best way that I can explain Frontier Days to you is like, it's Cheyenne's Super Bowl. But trust me, Cheyenne isn't all horses and cowboys. There's a growing music scene, uh, great restaurants, and other cultural activities that people don't expect from such a Western town. One place that you're gonna see that on display, vividly and bright, are the many life-size murals scattered around the city's center areas. While you're downtown strolling around looking at all these great murals, a lot of people like to do is stop off and get a cold beverage at one of the breweries or maybe at one of the distilleries that's down there. So as you can see, downtown Cheyenne has plenty to do. 
whether you're eating, drinking, touristing around, checking out the murals, you're in town for the rodeo next year, there's plenty for everybody to do. People of all ages love going to downtown. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about Cheyenne, please go ahead and watch the rest of our videos by subscribing on our channel or heading over to my website. If you want to ask me questions directly, just reach out. My contact information is right next to the video. Thank you for watching another episode of Why Not? This is Stan, the Mortgage Man. Have a great day.